After enjoying the sunshine at the weekend, uh, we're now experiencing a week of bad weather. Uh, as you can see, everybody's busy shopping. Uh, I'm sat at the supermarket, April's in there shopping, I'll go over in a minute to help load the van up. In all honesty, I hate supermarkets. I find it tedious, but I'm not getting into the way men shop and the way women shop, because we do, I believe, shop differently. I'm more methodical going up and down the aisles where I think people of another gender have a habit of hopping around the stores. So I'd rather just wait for April to get to the cash register and just go and load up. Um, anyway, um, it looks like we're going to be going to immigration this week. Um, we got our red ribbon back from the Philippines. And I'd like to thank Andrew and Mylene for helping us with that. And if you need any red ribbon stuff, we can organise it. It's not a freebie because there's other people involved and it does take them time uh, in Makati to do it. So it's not it's not a free service um, It's because it's a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, but the whole point is we can do it for you in the sense that we can help you. <coughs> um so yeah, red ribbon's done, check. Been in the social security office this morning, printing off my payments. Why is that BMW trying to race the other car through the, all right. Um, yeah, social security payments are done. So that that's another check in the box to show that I've got payments for the last 11 months and one day. Um, and then I've got my tax document, which is also going through. So, one of the things you will find is you have to keep updating stuff every time you have a meeting. So, there's stuff, stuff they'll want you to renew. Uh, one of the things I'm hoping is once this red ribbon goes through, if there's any queries or say they say come back in a month or so, uh, that we don't go through the red ribbon again because it was a pain in the backside to do. Um, but also, I do think you don't need to go as through the process as much um because you can update it they won't actually change the whole documentation they change the date on the back from what i believe um but don't quote me on that but yeah hopefully this friday we'll have some good news one of the things i will say though is the whole immigration thing is my achilles heel it's my thorn in the side because once the kids are settled and april settled we then move from this residency mode into becoming citizens and then April and the kids, once they've got their citizenship, I'm happy, I'm content, I can concentrate on other things because what's basically happened for the last two years, this has been my main focus. Um, so primarily it's been a case of making sure April and the kids are sorted out. But once we get through this next hurdle, it means A, April can work which means B, she can pay her own social security and be showing that she pays into the system herself. It's no longer reliant on my income. Um, because what we're gonna try and do is build up a history for what April does as well, because when it goes for citizenship, it's much, much easier once you've got some worth in the system. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting all this done so I can move on to the next phase, which is starting to develop this pension fund for myself. Uh, when I say for myself, I don't mean literally just for me. I mean like developing it myself because it's me putting the work into it. Um, because a lot of the stuff is only me that can do it. Um, yeah, it, it takes a bit of understanding. But I'm just glad we're almost there. But, uh, and honestly, I'm just glad we're nearly through this last phase of paperwork and bureaucracy um, ahead of the Brexit. Because although the Brexit um, is going to be a pain, the biggest problem I can see for people in our situation is that it sort of puts a wedge in the middle of it. Because they, they put a pause on it while they sort out who's what and who's where. It doesn't mean the process will end. But what it means is that we could have a problem where because they suddenly want to change the system they delay processing and then it just delays it for months 
and the way the UK delays everything on a daily basis on the old bureaucracy, um, it could add another year to the whole process for people. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting through that door as quick as possible, um, just so we can put a tick in the box, head back to the Philippines for a few months, uh, well, go back for a month, I'll say a few months, I meant a month, <laughs> um, and then come back to Spain and get on with life, start moving forward with things, upgrading our living accommodation and start developing a few ventures here in Spain. But I just thought I'd do an update today because we're almost there. We're going, going, got our meeting, got our interview, the kids have got to go as well, so it's going to be a busy, busy afternoon, that's for sure. But hey how this weather's in for the week as well which is a bit sad because we're going to be in another location later on in the week and i'm hoping it looks better than this <laughs> i don't fancy wandering around in the rain trying to video stuff all right catch you later